if city analysts are believed to be believed, uh, Royal Mail has been undervalued by up to 80%. So clearly, the taxpayers lose the night. The government's trying to make a quick buck by selling off Royal Mail cheaply and quickly at the expense of the taxpayer. Ultimately, the public will lose out in the long term. Uh, we believe services to rural communities and communities that depend on the postal service will ultimately be cut when Royal Mail is trying to satisfy its new shareholders to maximise profit and uh, cut kind of unprofitable parts of the business, those services to rural communities are going to be the first to be hit. It won't be immediately, but it will be a gradual decline in the services provided to uh, communities that depend on it. It's the end of the postal service as we know it. We think an inevitable consequence of this privatisation will be uh, price increases. Uh, last year we've seen a 30% increase on a first class stamp. The government actually removed uh, regulations on the, the cost of first class stamps when they passed the legislation to enable this privatisation. So we can see prices going up by another 30% in the years to come. Before you know it, it will be one pound for a first class stamp. Well, I don't really see how privatisation is going to lead to a better service. You know, Royal Mail is now going to be held hostage to what its shareholders want, and that will be the maximised profit and reduced cost. Now, you reduce costs in two ways. You lay off some of the workforce or you reduce services. So ultimately, you will see a reduction in service, not an improvement.